Bonjour à tous, privet, konnichiwa, so welcome again, my name is Emmanuel Jesse and in this wonderful discussion again, talking about the very very important topic, thank you for always staying with me, talking about this topic, is your life a garden or a bush, is your life a garden or a bush, is my life a garden or a bush, that's a question that I want to ask you, and I want you to ask yourself, is my life a garden or a bush, so what do we mean by this topic, okay, now let's move on, so is your life a garden or a bush, is your life like a garden or is it like a bush? So what is the difference between a garden and a bush? So this is something about if you don't know what a garden is, this looks like a garden to me. So this is a garden. It's very, very, very nice. Very, very structured. It's very, very nice. Okay. What about this? This one looks like a bush, right? A bush, which is like a bush in your backyard or a bush in, in Africa or somewhere. <laughs> okay. So is your life like a garden or is your life like a bush? How has your life been structured? Has your life been structured like a garden or has it been structured like a bush? If you look at your life, if you look at how far you have come, is your life like a garden or is your life like a bush? So I want you to also check about this picture too. So this down here is a garden, but it's a plantation, right? So usually gardens are usually like small shrubs, right? Shrubs, small hips, small trees, small plants. But a plantation is like a garden, but it is mostly for bigger trees. Okay, and then this is a forest, right? This is a forest. Okay, so is your life like any of these things? Which of them is your life like? Most people who prefer their lives would say that their life is like a garden or it's like a plantation. But let's see what our life can be like. Okay. Now, so is your life like a garden? So what do we mean by is your life like a garden? So just like the structure here, we can see that this place is well structured. It is very, very structured. Or like this one, that is not well structured. All of them are green. All of them have plants, all of them have soil, all of them have nice fair weather, but one looks more structured than the other. So your life as a garden means that your life is well structured. So usually gardens are very, very ordered. They are very, very ordered. They are very, very organized. So the difference between a bush and a garden is order. The difference between a garden and a bush is organization. The difference between a garden and a bush is order. How ordered are you? is your life? How organized is your life? How organized is your surroundings? How organized is your mindset? How organized is your belief system? How organized is how you live? So that is something that's going to determine whether your life is going to be like a garden or going to be like a bush. Again, okay? gardens are usually intentional. People don't just, gardens don't just come. They come with hard work. They come with intention. You have to intentionally plant a garden. At this place why the Bible says that they begin when God created the internet, God actually planted a garden, right, in the east of Eden. So that was not a bush, it was a, a garden, garden of Eden, not the bush of Eden. So God intentionally, purposefully planted a place. So gardens are intentional, gardens are purposeful. So for your life to be a garden, it first of all needs to be organized. It first of all needs order, it has to follow some principles. Your life also, for your life to be a garden, it also has to have it by intention. You have to be intentional in everything you do. You have to have a purpose. You also have an, an aim because every garden has a purpose. It's like plantation a plantation is also a form of a garden but it is the purpose of a plantation is to organize trees in a very structured manner so your so life should have a purpose you should be intentional in everything that you do in that case your life can be a garden not a bush again your life a garden is structured unlike a bush like the picture here the bush is everywhere you can see cassava here you can see your tomato here you can see plantain here all of them mixed together which is very very very, very interesting there is no other in a bush there is no organization in a bush there is no purpose or intention in a bush there's no structure in a bush there's no proper structure in a bush but for a garden it is structured so your life is supposed to be structured you and i are for our life to become like a garden it must be structured it must have structure it must have order again a garden is well cultivated unlike a bush the bush is left to nature the bush is left to the principles of nature for it to grow, whether it rains or doesn't rain. The bush is allowed to grow by the weather, by the season. But for a garden, it's not like that. A garden is well cultivated. It is well irrigated to the point that even if it does not rain, there is somebody who is going to make sure that it's going to cater for it. There's somebody who's going to make sure that it's going to water the place. So in the same way for your life to become a garden, you have to be intentional. You have to actually cultivate it. You have to put effort into it. You have to actually water your life. If nobody is going to water your life, you should not leave your life to chances. You should not leave your life for other people to be expecting other people to water your life. No, you should rather be intentional, structure your life, and water your own garden, water your own life, 
cultivate your own garden, sit down, gather books, study, do research, practice, take risks, calculated risks, and then it's your life going to be a, a garden. Again, is your life a garden or a bush? So for example, like if you check this thing here, one of the things you notice about every garden is that every garden is fenced. Every garden is protected. And this explains why even in the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve sinned against God, God sent a flaming sword to gather, to guide a very important aspect. Why? Because gardens have treasures. Gardens have weight. Gardens have something that is very, very important. Gardens have very, very useful stuff, which is fenced and it is protected. It's not just left like that. Nobody fences a bush. <laughs> Since I was born, I've not seen somebody fencing a bush. Bushes are not fenced. Bushes are not protected. But for your life to become a garden, you have to protect your life. You have to protect your life from wrong friends, from wrong associations, from wrong drug trains, from wrong stuff. You have to fence your life. You have to protect your life from people that are, will come to destroy or take away the fruits in your garden. You have to fence your garden. You have to protect your garden. Okay. Is your life a garden? Is your mind also like a garden or is your mind like a bush? So the people's mind are like bush. They allow everything to come inside. It's not structured. There is no cultivation. They don't cultivate their mind. They don't protect their mind or fence their mind. They allow anything to enter into their mind or their life. But your mind is supposed to be like a garden. Your your life is supposed to be like a garden. So one of the difference between a garden and a bush is that gardens are usually significant. They are very, very important. They have a purpose. Because people will plant a garden for a purpose. They will plant it for an intention. So it becomes significant for them. But bushes are not that significant. Bushes can just be cleared like that. Can be clear to build anything, can be clear to do anything. So in the same way, if your life is like a bush, anybody, nobody respects you, nobody cares about you, nobody sees you as significant. They can just do you anything. But you should make sure that you structure your life in such a way that your life becomes like a garden. Again, the difference between a garden and a bush is that gardens are operated by time. Gardens are predictable. So the, unlike a bush which is left to the weather, which is left to the season, rainy season, sunny season, bush are left to the weather, but gardens. Even if the weather is not going to be favorable, they make sure that they cater for it. They make sure that in the morning they water, the, they water it, in the evening they water it. They make sure that when the season is coming, they clear it, they weed around it. So that is one of the things about gardens. So gardens are way of friends for, sorry, they are protected and they operate by time. So your life is supposed to be operated by time. So you follow a schedule. Again, the most important thing, one of the greatest difference you see between a garden and a bush is that nobody pays to visit a bush. People don't pay to visit a bush. Rather, people pay to visit gardens. People pay a lot of money to visit gardens. People do their weddings not in bushes, but in gardens. People spend all the spend money to go to gardens, botanical gardens, recreational gardens, to enjoy, to relax, to to enjoy themselves. But nobody pays to go to the bush. <laughs> nobody pays to go to the bush. So for your life to become respected, for your life to become like a garden, for you to for people to be able to pay to visit your life, to visit your mind, to visit what your mind can produce, you need to structure your life like a garden. You need order, you need organization, you need purpose, you need structure, you need schedule, you need to cultivate, you need to fence, you need to be more vulnerable and significant. So these are the things that I want to share with you. So I want you to analyze your life and see, is my life like a garden or a bush? Is my mind like a garden or a bush? Am I living my life to be like a garden or am I living my life to be like a bush? Thank you and stay blessed.